Hi, welcome to this video. We just added many to many relationships to Piccolo and it was a highly requested feature. So we're really excited to get it out there. So let's take a look. So I've got a app here I created using Piccolo asking you, and we just looked at the tables. So I've got a band table and then we have genre. So an example band, Pythonistas is the one we always use in Piccolo. It's a fictional band and then genre might be electronic, dance, punk. Um, and we have a joining table as well. And if we just jump over to the docs, what happens in a many-to-many -many relationship is you have a joining table, which has two foreign keys. And this is what we've defined here, this genre to band. And then the new thing we've added is this M2M class. So this allows us to define these relationships. So here you can now get the genres that the band belongs to, and you can get the bands that belong to specific genres. And what I've done is inside app.py, we've got a very simple fast API app here. So we've got these two endpoints, the bands and the genres. So you can see here it returns each band's name and then each genre and then the name of that genre. And if we just have a look at the endpoint, you'll see what I mean. So if we do bands, you see here we've got them as a list. So it's really powerful because we can do most of this in one SQL query, so it's it's very efficient. And then similarly, we have the genres endpoint, which basically just does the reverse. Cool. And then if we look at, we have create admin here, so we're using Piccolo admin, and we've registered all of these table classes. So if I jump over to Piccolo admin, you can see here the here are three tables, got band, genre, and genre to band. And so if we have a look at the genres at the moment, we've got classical folk and rock. So let's imagine we just want to add a new one, we'll call it punk. And then if we look at the relationships here, genre to band, well the Pythonistas are classified as folk and rock, but let's say we want them to also be punk. So this shows off our new foreign key selector as well, which we just added. If I select punk and save that. And now if I go back to our endpoint, you'll see that Pythonistas are in the punk genre. And then the Pythonistas there have the punk genre. Cool. And then besides from the select queries, we've got loads of really cool functionality built around this M2M functionality. So if you just look at the docs, um, we have a bunch of stuff like you can request rather than the list, you can get nested objects. So let's just, just show you that quickly. So let's say I do band.select, band.name, and then band.genres and then genre.id okay so what you'll see here is it's return these nested objects so you can request multiple columns from these related tables so that's quite powerful and then going further down it works really well with objects too so let's say I was going to get the band. So band equals a weight. So now we have a band. But then we can, um, we have this new feature now called get M2M. And then you just need to tell it which one you're interested in. So we're interested in genres. Um, and then if we just await this, then it fetched all the genres for us. And we have add M to M. So if we wanted to add a new one, we can. So we can say, um, um, let's say um, dance. And then I can do band.add m2m genre. So 
So this now added the added the genre to the linking table. So I can verify that now. So if I do well we can just do it in the admin. It's a bit easier. Since you see here now the Pythonistas also belong to the dance genre, so they're a very diverse band. And then finally just looking at the docs, we have remove M2M as well. So let's imagine we weren't too happy with the idea of them being in the dance genre for some reason. So we can then remove it. And then if I go back, they're no longer in the dance genre. Okay, so that's it for today. Just a quick demo of M2M. So it's a really exciting feature. Um, there's more to come like this as we get closer to version one. So thank you very much.